most of Canadians don't understand how big and beautiful the Arctic is. And yet at the same time, it's a very small community of people. There's a lot of partnership, collaboration. For that, I really see the Arctic as a truly unique part of Canada. My first trip in the Arctic, back in 1989, we went all kinds of different places for community resupply or so on. It was quite an eye-opener and I've always been a keen fan of the Arctic uh, ever since. In 2018, the Canadian Coast Guard launched its Arctic region. Ever since that time, we've been seeking to do things differently here in the North. Reach out to our community engagement coordinators. We're able to be the go-between DFO and Coast Guard and the communities so that they could work better together. We've been working very closely with Indigenous partners, recruiting more Indigenous people, and taking the views of Northerners to figure out what the future of our programs looks like in the North. Most of our operations are in Iqaluit, Rankin Inlet, Hay River, uh, Inuvik, as well as Yellowknife, our Arctic Regional Headquarters. On a yearly basis, we deploy seven to nine icebreakers to do mainly uh, support the community resupply and doing some science, but also to ensure search and rescue coverage. And we have assets strategically dispatched so that if there's an environmental response event, then we're ready. We also have uh, Coast Guard auxiliaries all through the Arctic. The Indigenous Community Boats Program, we were fortunate enough to get uh, funding for the Rescue 797, which is a 30-foot metal craft rib. We have our inshore rescue boat in, in Rincon Inlet as well too. And we have our Marine Communication and Traffic Services Centre in Iqaluit that looks after every vessel transit in the Arctic and they're there to uh, take any distress call as well. The centre is like the 911 of the sea, 24-7, 8 months out of the year. We have the biggest geography to cover, it's really rewarding. Community resupply, which is the annual sea lift, most of the supplies for the community for the entire year are brought in on ships, is supported through the Canadian Coast Guard's operation. Basically, they use the summer window commercial vessel to come in and deliver the supply. Coast Guard ships are there to clear the way. We're seeing increasing vessel traffic, increasing international interest in the Canadian Arctic, and an extension of the Coast Guard's operating season as ice melts and there's more access to water. But the communities are getting bigger too, so that means more construction material, more resupply. We want to make sure people know about the risk of being in the Arctic. Over the past several of years, the Canadian Coast Guard has put significant effort into planning its fleet of the future. We have investment for 16 multi-purpose vessels that will include a light icebreaking capability. And most recently, the Government of Canada announced the funding for two polar icebreakers, which will really be a game changer for the Canadian Coast Guard. We will have, for the first time, two vessels whose primary objective is serving Northerners. The Polar Continental Shelf Program provides logistic support for scientific research across the Canadian Arctic, the Northwest Passage. We're seeing more ship activity. So it's important that the Government of Canada has strong search and rescue capabilities in the region, which would be led by the Canadian Coast Guard. We have to rely on each other in the Arctic. There's, there's not too many assets up there, so working closely with our neighbours and our partners in the Arctic is extremely important. When we did our training in Rankin, there was this young woman. She was driving, she was doing all this stuff, and she's an Inuk, and she's a woman. From when I started, I wasn't able to do that. It's an amazing leap forward. I'm just proud that I'm here to see it, because we have a lot to contribute. And looking at all uh, the great work that we're doing, Coast Guard Auxiliary, and presence in the Arctic with the new Arctic region, we're doing the right thing. seem to be listening much more to Northerners. I'm sure they'll get more of the youth engaged and curious and wanting to be a part of it. I tell anybody, come down, meet us, come check it out. It's a solid organization, it's solid people. It's going to be so much better for the North, for the people. We would love to have you come and join our team as we continue to build and hire more people in the North to deliver Coast Guard services.